In this tutorial, we'll see how to gather Palo Alto address group details using Ansible. We'll be using the module called PanOS address group. The parameters are same as PanOS address object, which we have seen earlier. Here also we need to pass the provider, which contains IP address, username and password. Then for gathering the data, we need to give the state gathered. And previously we have seen how to use gathered filter. This will allow you to apply advanced filters in the Palo Alto objects. Like we can give the conditions like contains, starts with, ends with, and we can even give the regex pattern in the gathered filter. Then we are registering this to a variable. In addition to that, we'll see another filtering option using JSON query. For JSON query to run, we have to manually install another Python library called James Path. We'll see how to do that as well. Now we'll go to the documentation of the module. This is the documentation of Palo Alto address group module. If you see the parameters, we need to pass provider and configuration state. First, we'll see how to use gathered. I'll go to VS code. Here I have already written the playbook. This is same as PanOS address object module. We need to pass the provider state gathered. Then gathered filter we are giving asterisk here. I'll go to the documentation. In the previous tutorial, we have seen how to use gathered filter. There we can apply multiple advanced filters. But here we are going to use gather all. Here I am printing the output. After this, we'll see how to apply JSON query filter. I'll give Ansible playbook. Directory is 24. File is 04. Enter. Now, here if you notice, we are getting all the address group objects available in the firewall. Let me open the firewall. Here we have total four objects. So we are getting all the objects. Now we'll see how to use JSON query. JSON query filter, I have explained in the Ansible filter section in detail. You can take a look into that. Here we'll try to filter based on this particular name. Whichever groups are having WAN DNS1, we'll try to filter. So we'll start writing the task here. Group contains WAN underscore DNS1. Here we'll try to print only the group contains this particular host, ansible dot built in dot debug message. You can even store this into a variable. Here we are just trying to directly print it within Jinja2 context. We'll try to put this particular data address group dot gathered. We can verify that. So here all the address groups are coming under gathered. Now here we'll start writing a JSON query filter. I'll give JSON underscore query within parenthesis. We need to give single quotes. Then within the square bracket, I'll give a condition contains. And here if you look into the output, all the objects are coming inside static value. For each group, static value contains the object. Will give static value, comma. Then we'll copy this. And within JSON query, we need to use backtick. This is not single quotes. Paste it. And now we'll try running the playbook. This also I have explained in the JSON query filter part. So here we are getting an error saying that you need to install JMES path for running JSON query filter. So we'll install that. Click install JMES path. 
will run it again. Here I have a typo. I'll correct that. Now we'll run it again. Now if you notice the output, we are getting two groups. When we were printing all the data, we were getting four groups. Now we are getting only two groups. So this is filtering the output. We'll go to the firewall. And now we'll try to filter using this particular host. I'll select this. Shift Alt up arrow. I'll press Alt key and select both the text. Now I'll give here LAN underscore host 01. I'm giving this particular name. Now this should return these two groups. Now we'll run it again. Now we are getting these two groups here. In this way, you can apply filters using JSON query.